Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Pacheco and in today's video we're going to be making the perfect margarita. Delicious. Oh, that's good. Whew. With summer approaching, there's nothing better than having a cold beverage on a hot summer day. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about making the perfect margarita and I'm going to show you how I do it step by step. Let's jump into it. So the first step in the process is you want to prep the glass. And you do that by actually prepping the lime. And what I'll do here is I'll cut up the lime like this. And then you also want to cut it again. So that way we can take this lime and rub it around the rim of the glass. So I'm going to slice it like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lime and I'm going to rub it around the rim of the glass like so. So that way the salt will stick to it. You can also use tahini, but I actually prefer to use sea salt when I'm making just a regular margarita. So after we've rubbed our lime all around the glass, then what we want to do is we want to dip it in salt. And I've actually poured some sea salt here and we just want to Make sure that we rub the glass completely so we get salt all the way around the rim, just like so. And now we have our glass that's prepped. So we'll set that aside for now. So next on the list, what I want to do is I want to take this citrus juicer and I want to go ahead and juice the lime. So what I did is I actually cut a lime in half and I'm going to take this juicer and I'm going to take my lime and I'm going to squeeze it down like this. So that way we get fresh lime juice. Now you can use lime juice from the store. I don't recommend it. I recommend you use a juicer and I recommend you use fresh limes. It makes the margarita taste so much better. That's just my opinion. What you wanna do is you wanna pour in about one and a half ounces of fresh lime juice to start. Now that I've poured one and a half ounces of lime juice into this shaker here, and you can get this at Crate and Barrel, I'll list it in the link below. Then I wanna add ice to this. So let me add that real quick for you. So now that I've added ice, here's where the fun begins the tequila. For today's margarita, and what I think is the perfect margarita, I always make my margaritas with Don Julio Blanco. So you wanna measure it out, and you wanna add three ounces of tequila. All right. And there we go, like so. After we've poured the tequila, then we can add the simple syrup. Now with the simple syrup, you wanna add one and a half ounces, you don't necessarily have to add it. I like my margaritas a little bit on the sweeter side, so that's why I add simple syrup. So let's do that. I'm gonna put in about one and a half ounces. Like so. Now, after we added the one and a half ounces of simple syrup, then we wanna add one and a half ounces of an orange liqueur. I prefer this as my orange liqueur of choice. I'm gonna go ahead and add one and a half ounces to the shaker like this. There we go. And so now that we've added all the ingredients, now we can give it a shake, like so. Now after we finish shaking, we can add a big ice cube into the glass. I like to add a big rock, and the reason I like to add a big rock, because if you have a bunch of smaller ice cubes, they tend to water down the margarita. So that's why I like to include a big rock into the margarita glass. One last shake. Move this over here, like so. And now we're ready for the pour. Look at that. The final touch, the lime. So what I'll do is I'll take a knife, gently cut the top like so. Put that on the end right there. And there you have it, the perfect margarita. Cheers. Fantastic. That's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my ways of making the perfect margarita, and I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step process. Please leave a comment below if you like the margarita, and if you have any other suggestions on how you make your margarita, I'd love to hear them. Thank you for watching, and please hit the subscribe button, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the future.